All right, so in our previous video, we showed you how to uh, actually sculpt our terrain out. Uh, we're going to be making changes as we go along, uh, but for the time being, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and go into our texturing portion. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and add in a directional light. If we go ahead and uncheck this light right here or check it on, you can see what our terrain actually looks like right now. So let's go ahead and add in a light. Game object, create other, directional light. Now the way directional lights work is that it doesn't really matter where you place them. All that really matters is how you rotate them. And we're going to go with uh, about right there. You can see the rotation is at 25 degrees, uh, negative 30 for the Y. Right, and we're going to apply shadows. I'm going to use high resolution. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring down the intensity a bit to about uh, 0.32 is good. Now we need to import a package. Go to assets, import package, go down to your character controller, click on import. All right, let's go ahead and throw in a first person controller. Just drag him into the scene here and uh, make sure he's not stuck in the ground like he is now. All right, so we press play. Uh, we can take a look at what our terrain actually looks like right now without any textures. And we're going to be walking around our scene quite often just so we can see what it looks like from a first person controller uh, point of view. So we need to go ahead and import our textures. So go ahead and select all your textures, including your normal maps, and drag them into your project panel. All right, go ahead and select your normal maps. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the first one, and you want to change the texture type to normal map. You want to uncheck Create from Grayscale and hit Apply. Now, if you leave Create from Grayscale on, Unity is going to overwrite your normal map with its own, and you're going to get a very distorted looking normal map. So you want to make sure you uncheck that. Same thing with the other ones as well. Now since this ice texture is going to be on the floor, we want to go ahead and increase the uneasel level. And this will just make it a little bit better as far as uh, quality wise when we're looking at our texture directly. Same thing with the snow. Uneasel level all the way up to 9. Hit apply. All right, so now we can start applying our textures. So the very first texture that you apply, go ahead and select the paintbrush tool, click on edit textures, add texture. The very first texture that you apply is going to be your base texture. It's going to be applied to your entire terrain. So we're going to start off with the snow one. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag these in. So the texture, the first one is going to be the actual colored texture, and then the normal map slot is going to be for your normal map. The tiling we're going to leave at 15 by 15. Now, the reason we're leaving it at that low is because this texture is going to be the one that we're going to be looking at the most. And when it's a smaller tiling number or a smaller tiling value, rather, it's going to look a little bit better as far as our first person controller perspective goes. Click add and you can see what it looks like. Now, you can tell that it's tiling quite a bit. You can see the uh, effect quite noticeably from this angle. But if we hit play, it looks a lot different from our angle right here. Now, obviously on the mountain right here and off in a distance, you can still see the patterns, but up close right here, you can't really tell. All right, let's go ahead and hit play. Now, since we're gonna be using normal maps in our terrain, we wanna make sure we have a normal map material applied to our terrain. So this can be a little bit confusing, but let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that works. So let's go ahead and create a material by right clicking, create, go down to material and I'm just going to go ahead and name this terrain bump. All right, so for the shader, let's go ahead and change this to a nature terrain bump specular. We're not going to be actually applying any type of material to this terrain or to this material. Uh, we're just going to change the shader type. Now, unfortunately, it starts off with a bump specular, which gives us this shiny effect. And our terrain is not going to be shiny, so we need to change the specular color to a black type of color. Now if we change this back to white and we try to change the shininess right here all the way down or all the way up, you can see we still get a shine. So no matter which way you go, you're still going to get a shiny effect. So we're going to go ahead and uh, change the specular color all the way down to black and you can see that that shine went away. Now in our terrain settings, 
Go ahead and select the little gear icon. Under the base range section, where it says material, you're gonna go ahead and apply this material. Now if we hit play, you can see that our snow actually has a little bit of bumpiness to it now, which is what we wanted. All right, so now let's go ahead and add in our other textures. So go ahead and edit texture, add texture. We're going to apply our second texture, which is going to be our cliff texture. Now for this one, since this is going to be on our actual mountains, we can go ahead and increase the tiling to 200 by 200. Hit add. Go ahead and select the second texture and focus in on your mountains. You want to go ahead and select a grunge type brush. So let's go ahead and select this one and increase the brush size and decrease the opacity down to 50 and just lightly click once or twice over your mountains. Now what this is going to do is basically blend in our snowy texture with this cliff texture. Now if you want to zoom in on a certain area, go ahead and move your brush to wherever you want and press F and you can zoom in. You know, sometimes it's a little bit off, but for the most part it works pretty good and it just helps to zoom in on certain areas. And you can see that the normal map on this terrain texture uh, looks pretty good. It looks it gives us a very nice rocky effect without actually having to apply that effect with our terrain brushes. Alright, now let's go ahead and apply our ice texture. So go to edit textures, add texture, and we're going to apply our ice texture. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and change it to 25 by 25. Click add, go ahead and select your ice texture, and we're going to go ahead and select our grunge brush again. And we just want to apply the ice texture in the middle here. Once again, very light clicks. You just want to kind of meld it in to the snow texture. Now right towards the middle of this entire area right here, that's where we're going to have the most ice. So you want to make sure it looks pretty good right there. And then at the very edges, you kind of want to just very lightly blend it into the snow. All right, let's go ahead and hit play and see how it looks so far. So it looks pretty good up close, but we need to go ahead and meld it into these uh, sides right here. So let's keep going. All right, so you can see that I've been applying the ice texture around. I've also been kind of blending it in right here, uh, basically anywhere where we can walk. And uh, it looks kind of weird from this angle, but if we go ahead and hit play, you can see it looks pretty decent from this angle. Now we need to go ahead and try to melt it in a little bit better along the edges right here. But we, we also want to apply a more rough looking uh, terrain effect on the edges right here as well. So I'm going to go back into my sculpting tools and I'm going to go ahead and select the grunge brush. And I'm going to go ahead and just add in a few details. Go ahead and decrease the size of my brush and just try to make it a little bit more bumpy so it doesn't look like a, uh, you know, like a big pool. Just kind of make some uh, bumpy areas. Oh, a little too big there. I'm going to go ahead and smooth out this top right here. And 
And for the actual ice texture, I'm going to go ahead and increase the tiling once again as well. I'm going to go ahead and change it to about 40 by 40. It looks a little bit better now. And same thing for the snow. I think we can increase this a bit up as well. Go by 25 by 25. Hit apply. And let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see how it looks up close. So it's looking a little bit better. You can see that that effect right here made it look a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and up, keep applying my snow texture over and over again using the grunge tool right here. Just so we have some nice blending going on here. All right, so I've added a uh, few more things to our terrain. You can see down here, I've added uh, quite a bit of terrain detail. Uh, I'm trying to meld in some of these textures a little bit better too. Uh, but over here, our mountains actually look not that great. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, in our next video, we're gonna be going over how to refine some of the features that we have in our terrain. And we're also gonna be applying a skybox as well and uh, be going over some of the other render settings. So. That's it for this video. In our next video, we're going to be going over these uh, refining details.